Hello, we are here in Amsterdam, that's a festival, and with me is Judith. Yes. So please introduce yourself a little bit. Well, uh, I'm Judith, uh, I, I work for the festival, um, I'm the PR and communication manager, so to say, but uh, it's all volunteer job, so I have a regular job. and. Rest of the year after work, I'm busy organizing this festival uh, and making all the yeah PR stuff go around all year. Cool. So it's uh, how much festivals do you uh, develop? Well, this is my second. Well, it is the 20th festival this year. It's only yeah. my second uh, in this job. But the two festivals before, I was uh, just more volunteering uh, all around the. Uh, organizing workshops, uh, cooking, or uh, I did, did, did stuff in the theater, I was all around. And then they asked me, would you like to do the, the PR and be in the, in the group of four that really organize it all year round? And then I said, yeah, of course, because I really love it. So it was a, yeah, it's a great job to do. And a lot of work, I think. Yes, it's, so it's, it's a really a huge festival. Yeah, yeah. So, how many uh, hours per week you spend for the last <laughs> maybe half a year? Well, actually, we uh, we start or the, the festivals always last week of January, but for us the new festival. So, with the four of us, the really main organizers, we start in February, March already with the next year. So it's quite all year round, and of course, in the beginning, it's really slowly and the PR, I mean, you're not going to promote a festival that's 10 months away. So it takes a little time to, 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 sp to speed up. But uh, yeah, after November, December, January, it's really quite busy. I always say I have my, uh, my nine to five job, my normal job, and then I have my five to nine job. <laughs> Means that if I go home, I, I work a lot. But actually, if you do PR, it's great because I mean, two weeks before the festival and the week before the festival, I'm really busy. But then during the festival, there's not so much to promote anymore. So I have really time to enjoy everything that's going on and uh, meet you guys yeah. and, uh, <laughs> and just be here as a, as a visitor, actually. So what's, what's the main or what, what's the most uh, or biggest uh, decisions you have to make? Uh, well, um, decisions about the festival yeah. are not really mine uh, to make. Of course, I if if people I can think with people, but it's uh, I don't decide what's going to be. But I really uh, uh, try to figure out what the main focus of the festival will be and who we want to tell about the festival. So um, for Impro Amsterdam, we really try to not only focus on people that know about impro that, that play impro themselves but we also try to focus on people who've never heard of it or just citizens of, citizens of amsterdam who like to go to the theater or just people who, who see this nice poster on the street and like think oh hey that sounds nice so we really want it to be for newbies and for professionals so that's the the, the decisions I'm, I'm making during the year are really about how we can reach those people and um uh, what is a good way to bring normal, not improvisers uh, audience to, to the theatre? Yeah, that's, that's quite difficult. The funny thing about this festival that this, we, we, we notice that it's really growing internationally. So a lot of foreign visitors, uh, which you are a good example of. I mean, people outside of the Netherlands really uh, know where to find us and how. And it's like kind of almost a community of people, re also people returning every year, a week to I'm coming here. But there's a, a group of, um, yeah, maybe it's, it's difficult to promote the festival within Amsterdam and within the Netherlands because there's so much going on and uh, improv is getting more and more, uh, yeah, it's, it's more and more common here, but it's still not something that a lot of people know. So, yeah. yeah, it's difficult. I don't have a, a good answer to it, I guess. <laughs> and, um, yeah, have you plans like TV or 
uh, radio interviews or advertising or whatever? Yes, we of course we try to 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 get on the radio, on the TV, in the newspapers. So it's it's difficult. I mean, we, we let them know we're there. We let them know several times we're there. We email them. We call them, and then sometimes uh, it works. Last year we were on the local uh, TV channel with a really nice item. We've been in a national newspaper. This year we were in a newspaper and we had a nice uh, review of a, of a big um, theater website this year. So we're kind of, every year we have new people who found out, find out about us and we really hope that it will be bigger and bigger, bigger yeah. every year. I really like uh, the trailer. Mm -hmm. So the trailer is really yeah. Yeah, smooth and uh, you watched it every day on, 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 on the stage before a show begins yeah. and like, it's not boring, it's really no. it's cool. So. Oh, thank you, I'll <laughs> tell that to the guy who made it. Yeah, we're really lucky with, uh, with our volunteers and we have some really golden volunteers who, who can make that kind of stuff and you just, I mean, you don't even have to ask them, they just say, uh, hey, I'll, I'll make the trailer this year. Can you give me a, a few pics? And then uh, suddenly you get an email and you have this. And they're like, wow, <laughs> this is so cool. So, uh, yeah, that's all. It, we really depend on those kind of volunteers who can do stuff and who want to do, do it for improv. Yeah, I see also um, some kind of animated uh, um, photos yeah. every day and it's really from the day before. So yeah. it's really... They, yeah. they, that's Spend the also night really what? cool. Yeah, that's also yeah. Uh, somebody from the Impro Network, uh, Nike Reiseborg. She she's a really nice, uh, yeah, drawer illustrator, and uh, she she just visits the show every day. And the next morning, uh, she 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 sends me a picture, and uh, yeah, I really love it. We started that last year, and it's I really, I mean, she sees the the, the shows in such a nice way, and her brains work so brilliantly. I really <laughs> love her her drawings. So yeah, I'm glad to public can, that we can publish that on uh, on Facebook and uh, yeah, that kind of people make me really happy. Yeah, <laughs> me too. I really love that okay. kind of drawing. It's, it's yeah, it's uh, interesting that uh, she took really one moment of the whole evening and it's, mm. it's great. Yeah. So. Oh, thank you. I'll tell that to her too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we have some wonderful people uh, around here. Yeah. So, and uh, planning for next year is not now, but <laughs> you, do you think about it or later? Of course. <laughs> well, um, uh, I'm not really thinking about next year yet because I, I, I'm here <laughs> now and it's great. But um, yeah, this year, since it's our 20th anniversary, we tried a lot of new stuff. We had an extra day. Uh, here in the theater, we had some extra uh, late night shows going on, some actual workshops, and from now I'm I have the idea that it's really working out. But we still have to wait all the numbers and figures at the end of the week, and if everything comes together. But for next year, I'm really interested in what 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 worked and what didn't, and how we can how we can use the good things for uh, further festivals. So what uh, what was new? It's more shows, it, so that you have um, two shows at night. Or yes, what? yes. Normally we only had one uh, one late night show, and now we have two, uh, so people can choose because we saw that uh, uh, more people wanted to see these shows that there were than we had seats, so we made two at the same time. And uh, last few years we had five uh, nights of shows, so five days festival and this year six days so uh, of course it's really um, yeah we're really excited to see if uh, if we can do that kind of stuff because of course renting a theater like this costs a lot of money so yeah. if you want to uh, rent it an extra day you should have extra audience so uh, we'll see that in the end of the week if uh, if the numbers uh, match up and um do you have feedback how um, that festival um, affects other festivals or the improv scene here in maybe in Amsterdam or in, in Europe as, as a whole? Um, well, we don't have that much uh, connection with other festivals as 
I, we could have more, it would be interesting. I know that some people in the festival, more on the artistic side, they have their connections in Europe. So in that way, we're not really working together, but it would be great to do that more maybe in the future. And as far as the Netherlands are concerned, we don't... I think Impro Amsterdam is the, the only uh, really big Impro festival, uh, especially international. So, uh, yeah, we hope to inspire other people. But as I already said, sometimes we have the idea that it's more growing internationally than within the Netherlands. So that's also a thing I'd like to focus on more next year. Yeah, it's interesting. In Berlin, it's in a way the same. So they, you have that really big international festival mm -hmm. and not so much groups from Berlin or improvisers mm -hmm. from Berlin taking part, but from all over Germany and from around the world, a lot of people yeah. come to that. So okay, it's, yeah, that's uh, maybe that's mm -hmm. a strange mechanics, I don't know. Yeah, maybe it is, maybe it is. Mm -hmm. Maybe people who love improv are more pre pre uh, prepared to travel or, I don't know, it's a community thing. Or if you know somebody that goes, you oh yeah, sure, I want to meet there. I don't know how it works. It's interesting <laughs> and it's fun. So, yeah. Thank you for um, that great festival. Wow. So we, we are really pleased that we can make that uh, interviews here and of course, get that, I love uh, it. Uh, a lot of support. So do you have something to what, what you want to say or do um, you need something from the <laughs> people? Well, no. I, well, I, of course I want more people to know about this great festival, but you guys are doing a really great job and I really love how people like you come here to, to really look in depth at the festival and working so many hours to just see what happens. And it's really an honor to be able to host such a thing. So thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay then, I think that's a great ending. So thanks. Thank and you. Yeah. Have fun.